Schizoid personality disorder and avoidant personality disorder are two psychological conditions that can look very similar on the surface. The overlap section in the diagram shows the reasons why this is. Both conditions cause a person to have difficulty forming close relationships. Both types tend to lack friends, withdraw from social interactions and don't enjoy participating in many activities. However, when we look at the underlying reasons behind why this is, we see a very different picture. So I'm going to give a brief outline and overview in this video about what these differences are, starting with the three main points that I think really highlight the differences. With schizoid personality disorder, uh, there is an obstruction to forming close interpersonal relationships with other people due to the schizoid defense, which causes people with SPD to form an emotional barrier between themselves and the outside world for uh, the safe safety of self. So schizoids may or may not be aware of having a desire to want a close interpersonal relationship. However, for a lot of schizoids, they tend to live out any desire for relationships through fantasy and don't actually have a conscious desire to form an attachment with another person in real life. With people with AVPD, avoidant personality, on the other hand, they are very conscious of their desire to form a close interpersonal relationship. They um, very much want to connect with another person, but they feel unable to do so due to feelings of inferiority and also fear of rejection or being criticized by other people. So they can only form close relationships on the condition that they feel that the other person really likes them and it's going to accept them. People with schizoid personality disorder tend to be emotionally detached and uh, experience emotions but can have difficulty reading or expressing them, especially anger or tender feelings. People with avoidant personality disorder tend to be conscious of their emotions and they tend to be very emotionally sensitive to being judged by other people and um, it's this emotional sensitivity that um, causes them to feel very self-conscious in the company and presence of other people and it can um, add to the fear that they're going to be rejected or going to be shamed. So there's a marked difference that in the level of emotional connectivity. People with schizoid personality disorder tend not to be interested in engaging in many different activities and this is the same for people with avoidant personality disorder. However, people with SPD tend to lack interest in, in engaging in the activities whereas people with avoidant personality disorder tend to be afraid to try out new activities because they can feel inadequate and fear um, embarrassing themselves in public or looking bad. So these are the three main underlying reasons, I'm uh, sorry, so three main differences and the underlying reasons for that. So to sum up, we could say that people with schizoid personality disorder are obstructed from socialising due to the schizoid defence mechanism alexithymia which is difficulty reading their emotions, empty core which I will go into in a future video, an emotional detachment. So these things are related to neutrality and a lack of interest or motivation. With the avoidant on the other hand they have a fear of socializing and this is due to negative thoughts and feelings about themselves and others and related to fear and anxiety. So, as you can see here, the inner states of these two different conditions are quite different from each other, although on the surface there is definitely this overlap where 
they share traits in common. So I hope that helped you to understand these two conditions and their differences a bit better.